wondering what the heck you need to do to create a YouTube channel that will sell books. If you are, this video is for you, my friend. Stick around. Hey there, I'm Julie the Book Broad from Book Launchers, a fantastic self-publishing services company that will help you write, publish, and promote your nonfiction book to grow your business. And the best part is you keep all rights and all royalties. I'm also a YouTuber, and it's one of my favorite things to do in my business. Truthfully, it's gotten way more fun since cool people like Jocelyn Carter, Ron Neitzel, Mr. Mike Doc Clown, Crystal Fontanaz, and Lucille Cullerton started hanging out and commenting on my videos. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate you guys so much. But I didn't start here. Check out my first videos. Search Julie Broad Revenue. That's R E V N Y O U. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, and by the way, that channel helped me sell a lot of books, and I sold that channel with my website for thousands of dollars years after I stopped uploading to it. So there's value in everything you create if you do it consistently and just keep getting better. And there's plenty of other amazing YouTube creators who will give you tips to create a great channel and build up your videos. I am certainly not the foremost expert on this. But for authors, here are my seven <laughs> tips. Number one, choose your channel name wisely. I wouldn't name it after your book. Personally, I'd do it after your business or your own name so you can build a community around it and use it to promote what you do beyond the book. It probably won't be the last book you write and a year from now, you might be tired about talking about your book. You wanna stay in touch with the subscribers you've worked so hard to connect with. So choose your channel name wisely and go from there. Number two, start your channel before your book comes out. When your book goes to the editor, this is a great time to get your author website, author newsletter, and YouTube channel all set up and ready to go. If your book is out, it's not too late. But if you can start your channel three months before so you can begin to build up an audience to share your book news with, that's ideal. Number three, plan your content. Look at your book and pick 10 to 12 tips you can pull out of your book and turn into three to five minute videos. You could do something like the single most important tip to achieve X result. Five things you don't know about your subject, but you should or three myths about your subject. You already have this material in your book. Just grab those short sound bites and sketch out key points for your video. And check out this video here or here, I don't know. <laughs> There's a video link up here if you wanna know how to create great videos without giving away all the good content in your book. Number four, block aside a whole day to shoot your first set of videos. I recommend this because then you only have to do your hair once. <laughs> But seriously, the first time you do this, you're probably gonna scrap a dozen takes before you start to get rolling and really get in a groove. And then once you're in a groove, you can shoot four, six, 10, who knows how many videos and you're set for a month of content. Number five, invest in some lighting and a mic. A shotgun mic for your iPhone is fine, sure, has some great products to help with this. I'll put some links in the description below so you can see some of the stuff I've used in the past but it's a small amount of money for a big difference in quality on your shoot. Number six, I recommend hiring a video editor, but in my early days, I did all my video editing myself. I bought Final Cut Pro and spent hours on YouTube learning the ropes, but there's plenty of iPhone apps now that allow for basic editing for your videos and make a fast upload. Just keep it simple. It's far more important that you start posting than you worry about perfection. And if you don't wanna worry about perfection at all, go live. <laughs> right now, it's still acceptable to go live without high production value. Just be well lit with good sound and pay attention to what's in your background and go for it. Number seven, plan to post at least once a week every single week for the time leading up to your book launch and ideally for the months afterwards. Consistency is so critical, I can't emphasize it enough. Check out this video for a review and some tips from the book, The YouTube Secrets. And if you wanna get the absolute best tool to help you improve your channel and track your progress as you go, I highly recommend Morning Fame. Link below for you. The link below is probably an affiliate link, but it's because it gives you one month free if you click that link and use it. I love Morning Fame's analytics and recommendations. Before you go there, make sure you smash that thumbs up button and leave a comment below about your YouTube channel building journey. What are you gonna call your channel? What's it gonna be about? And if you already have a channel, share it below and pop into commenters, other commenters' channels and say hello there too. If we're all friends, then we can all grow on YouTube together. See you on the next video. Go ahead, watch this one or watch this one. Or maybe it's over here. There's a video around me that you should be clicking on right now. Click on it. Uh -huh.